Yeah, read Jeremiah first. Jeremiah 22, And start at the top with 10 and 1. Hear the word which the Lord speaking unto you, O house of Israel. Hear the word. You say the word. He's speaking unto you, O house of Israel. He's talking he didn't say to the whole Israel. world. He said Israel. He didn't, you know, he said Israel. Israel is us. He said, Did you know? Yeah. Let's go. To your, your husband. Oh, I am. You know that. You know what? I'm destined to hear this message, and I'm almost scared to tell y'all. <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest right. because I, at the end of the day, I have my. Um, I believe in God. At the end of the day, I know that there is a heaven and there is no hell. Uh, so I've been watching these videos, like I said, hitting one, two, three, right. and then we just got four. So my kids that I would just passed away, and they were talking about forgiveness. You right. know, he right. passed away. He. Um, Who passed away? My, my, um, my fiance's uncle passed away. Oh, okay. Like yesterday. Recently. Like, oh, uh, yeah. Judgment. You know, yeah. Okay. So, that was like, he didn't be forgiven. And out of nowhere, I was like, well, you know. Just forget it now. When, when, once you dead, you forget it. <laughs> you forget it now. Right. Yeah. No, you know what? Check this out. I'm gonna watch some videos, but we're, come out here with your, uh, with your husband and let's wrap next. Let's focus on this one. I think that it's like this. No, so look, if you not judge me, but like you said, Uncle Daniel would say, you know, that the Bible is not real. I, uh, it is how we have it. I said something that I felt bad about, and I knew I had gotten to those videos. Okay. Because I, I started to believe everything that I was doing. ways of the heathen meaning mm -hmm. we don't follow their customs we don't follow their holidays now when you look into christmas and you study christmas and easter it all goes back to the uh, pagan worship right okay. like like the vikings they celebrated christmas they had christmas trees they called them yule trees you know what i mean uh -huh. they got nothing to do with it you're not called jesus trees you know what okay. i mean go ahead be not dismayed at the signs of heaven be not dismayed at the signs of heaven and when you get into the origin of the christmas it's really an astrological thing. It's summer 25th. Mm -hmm. That's uh, dealing with sun worship. Go ahead. So the heathen are dismayed at them for the customs of the people are bad. Now listen, it says the customs of the people, meaning the heathens, the customs of the people are vain. Keep it in mind. Cut the tree out of the forest. For one, cut it the tree out of the forest. Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Keep going. They deck it with silver and gold. They deck it with silver and gold. That's that Christmas tree. Right, right. You know what I mean? Go ahead. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it moves on. Yeah. So that's telling you that the customs of the heathen was to put the tree in the house, put the silver and the gold on it, put the presents under it. That all goes back to the but worship. Is Jesus it's actually, birthday, right? Nah, that's by our worship. He was born in spring. Yeah, he was born on the Passover. So huh? this is just a fabricated holiday to... Exactly. Well, actually, you will know the truth. Even in America, exactly. even in America, which we call the kingdom of Satan, mm -hmm. even in early uh, colonial America, Christmas was illegal. Wow, I did not know that. Look at it. Sir, a lot of parts of the country is illegal. Because they, when you can look into the history of it, it's paganism. It's really it's the owl worship. Because the Christmas tree, if you, when you look into it, you're going to find out it's the owl worship. And not get too technical. I just had a pen because I was writing in my book. Well, more, yeah, more just means us. Uh, Latin, it means that, uh, or 
Greek too. Right? Black. It just well, it really means it actually means like brown, dark skin. Because black is negro. More is more brown, like Moreno. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, so it's not a the, the Moors that they talk about. Those are Israelites who lost their way and were fallen into Islam. No. <laughs> just trying to remember. Uh, <laughs> and more too also means that's more is also when you get the word uh, uh, mariner. You know the mariner. word mariner. I've heard of it. A, a mariner to moor a ship uh, when a ship becomes moored. You know, you dock the ship or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, it's so the moors. They were uh, yeah, great. Uh, this is weird because I didn't expect to get off the bus. I'm sitting at the bus stop and see. And that's a spirit door. Why they got horns on Jesus' head? That's the devil. That ain't Jesus. That ain't Satan. This picture right here. That's the that's that, the that's the that's the image that the yeah, world thinks. Yeah, that's what they were talking about the video. That the image of Jesus that they want us to know is like so. You know, basically not true. Like there is a Jesus, but it's just not this image, basically. Yeah, appreciate it. Jeremiah fourteen and two. Do the morning. The gates are of language. They are black into the ground. <laughs> oh, that's talking about Judah. Yeah, Judah is black. Yeah, because when you look that word black up in the Hebrew, the word there is in the color of black. It's dark skin. So it's two different distinct words. I believe the word in there for black is the uh, uh, the dark. And he's from the tribe of Judah. Yeah, he's from the tribe of Judah. And Judah is dark skin. Ju Judah, yeah, the the, the king of the Jews is probably the darkest of the whole nation. Of Israel. Is this talking about, about Benjamin? slavery? Benjamin. Benjamin. King Benjamin. Uh, yeah, Judah done did all kind of. I just watched Roots, Roots lately. Yeah. Roots, yeah. the new one. Have what? you seen that? What's that? Yeah, that's kind of funny you mentioned that. Roots, that old, yeah. yeah. The new, they, they oh, the new one. Yeah. The younger son. Oh, I don't even watch. I, just watch I don't even watch TV. Ignorant. All I watch is YouTube. I miss his mama's boy. That. Uh, and it's funny, man. Oh, yeah. And the youngest, imagine having a younger brother with his, his attitude, his personality. He's the worst out of all of them. Uh, Benjamin was the youngest brother. He was the youngest of them My all. brother, man. Was, you know, he was a little bastard child. Yeah, my brother, I'm telling you, every younger brother I know is, in every family, man, is... Uh, See, that's by the time they something. got to that child, they don't gave up. Yeah, for real. Yeah, man. But he's, they're the one that... They baby him more. Yeah. So he grows up the horse. You know what I mean? At the same time, Benjamin had to jump. Yeah, I was the oldest, so I got the blame for everything. Benjamin vicious, man. Yeah, Benjamin ain't a joke. He vicious, man. You see what he did to that uh that woman? Oh. Were they raped her? Yeah, yeah. They shared their ones. Oh, oh, man. All yeah. that nut sharing uh. that nut and shit, man. Uh, and that's what they that's what they do in the hood, man. They, they, they do share these them. girls, man. They go in the room, one room. Actually, they don't even go in one at a time. Some of them just in that girl on that one girl at the same time. That's you know, nasty. Looking at each other, getting turned on. And on then they take shit, a video man. and then they upload it to the Pornhub. Mm -hmm. They show their friends and partners. Yeah, and, they sharing it on Facebook. Right. You no, know, Israel ain't shit, man. Israel, is, yeah, Israel I'll needs destroyed. Yeah, I'll be, that's why he said two thirds of Israel got to go. They got to be destroyed. <laughs> Well, I'm talking about Israel. Army. The Israelites. The people we sent to. Uh, yeah, we'll bust you right now. No, no. Uh, no. Are you ever some channel in the pen? Oh, no, you pee in the work. Uh, you ain't got a phone? I so. uh, that's right. Hey, just look up. Uh, just look up Great Millstone. You can look up uh, our Twitter. Twitter is uh. Are y'all just the group that gathered, or do y'all stand for the foundation, or what? Y'all just out here just teaching the word, or what well, believe in? Well, the gather. The, the word actually, the word church means a gathering, a congregation. Uh -huh. uh, so this is the church. But we use the internet though for. Uh, gather too, you know what I mean? So we we upload our videos to YouTube, like we got a Twitter. What's your, what's your videos? Can I look up on YouTube? 
You can look up Woe into the Wicked. Woe into the Wicked. Yeah, we got two of them. That's Woe, W-H-O-A. W-O-E. Oh, he got it working. W-O-E. Whoa. He got you. Okay. It's really part of uh, I was meant to uh, probably pass Mario. I believe that everything is meant to Shit, you go to our YouTube channel. We got what? Oh, we watch it. That's all we watch. That's all we watch. Uh, we got like a thousand videos you can watch probably. We got so many videos you can watch. You be watching videos. Man, you... It's unlimited. There's so many videos. And once you get the Link Drive channel, there's going to be no excuse. Because you're going to find the other brothers too. Because we have brothers all around the earth doing the same thing as us. In every major city. You know what in I mean? the last days, he's waking everything up. So you're going to find all the videos. And you know what I mean? If you got questions. Huh? Donald Trump? <laughs> I mean, you just can't get. Yeah, it don't even matter. Alright, now. Hey, look, hey, yeah, Obama is too weak, right. Uh, uh, Trump got some backbone. He ain't afraid to go start some shit. He gonna go into Iran. I see it, I think, you know what I mean? I oh, almost I short of having that clear vision, but I see it. I see that. I'm, 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 I'm saying no, I'm saying Because I was watching that Madness video. I start, I have having that vision, boy. I see Madness. What? Oh, they might. They've already started. Though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Russia. Russia blaming uh, Obama for the uh, the ambassador getting uh, assassinated. That's America's work. America. Because they had Obama was groomed from his birth to uh, take that job. Yeah, imagine that. <coughs> imagine that. They had that one actor, they interviewed that one actor that said he gave uh, Obama lessons on how to talk right. Yeah, that light skinned actor, brother. Yeah. yeah that Jake. I forget it, dude. Yeah, good actor, too. Very good actor, too. Yeah, he gave lessons on how to talk right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, right. Obama was a fucking puppet, man. He I mean, he's an actor. Right. They're all actors. <laughs> like, look at the presses. They're all actors. Ronald Reagan was actually, he's an actor. He showed you how to do it right. Get a real actor to play the real actor. And Trump, he's an actor, reality TV show, always on TV and show business his whole life. You know, just, yeah, very vain man. Yeah, what's up? How you doing? I want to go deep up in their minds. Hey, right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> hey, just think though, when the Lord was on the scene, though, when, the, when he was walking around looking at people in their faces, he could look at your ass and just know what you did. Yeah, he could just read your mind, man. That's why when uh, he was right, and uh, what, at John the eighth chapter, when it well, when they had that famous saying, he's without sin, cast the first stone or whatever, he sat down, he started writing in the sand. He was writing his sins in the sand. But really to us, but we really can look at somebody though. We we can't know exactly what you did, but we can take a look at your ass and know that you ain't right. Because a uh, child molester got a certain feel to it, a murderer got a certain look to him. And you can see, you can look at someone's eyes and see that they ain't fucking right. Blood drinker. Yeah, blood drinker. 
You can tell American, what, American way. If you've been doing a lot of secret foul activities, we can tell by looking at you. That's right. You can't hide it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. And like we talking about that people gate shit. That's why we can look at all these politicians. You just know they're they doing some sadistic shit. They raping children, murdering people. And you can look at their faces and tell. That's <laughs> Going back to the curse. Oh, go ahead. Oh, fuck. Um, curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Fruit of that body? Yeah, like your children's curse. You know what I mean? Damn. The fruit of thy land. The increase of thy kind. Hey, you see the fruit of our land is, is cursed. First of all, none of us have our own land anymore. You, Like, when people think of the idea, you go up, go to work every day. I, I, I'll tell you, that's bullshit. And people are like, what are you, lazy? No, real work, or getting up and working every day, like the scripture speaks about going to work every day, not being a slugger. It's talking about working in your fields, growing your crops for your family. You know what I mean? That was the work that you went and did every day. And you weren't out worked your land. You know what I mean? The, the land, because you read the, the scriptures, every tribe in Israel had their own inheritance. They got their own land and their own inheritance. And what? There was no rent. Did they have to pay rent? Who do they pay rent to? If you pay rent, that means you're a fucking slave. And that land is not yours. So the Lord gave us the promised land where there's no rent. We paid a tenth to the Levite. But uh, the great abundance the Lord gave us, a tenth is nothing. You know what I mean? The great abundance of that land flowing with milk and honey. So we didn't have to pay no rent, you know what I'm saying? But that, yeah, because you look at the crops nowadays, you find in the stores, the apples is all shriveled up, grapes is all shriveled, everything's just all small, lettuce is, lettuce is looking all stupid, you know, I mean, cucumbers is all small and deformed looking. Hey, you could pick a bushel of grapes up like this. One. Yeah. There's that scripture in the book of Numbers. Oh, a bushel of grapes. In the book of Numbers, it said it took two people to carry a, uh, uh, a cluster of grapes. Yeah, two two strong two two strong men to carry a cluster of grapes. You go to the, 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 all this shit. They don't genetically modified and genetically engineered all this shit to the point where the shit ain't worth eating. And then they just ripe. I mean, they don't give the field rest. The soil has no nutrients. They spray all your crops with goddamn glyphosate. They they they. they, they uh, Spraying their fucking crops with all this poison that kills kills the bugs and kills you too. What are you looking for? I could use me one of the big old cluster of grapes right now. Really. Really? That would give me them good vitamins and nutrients. I won't be all sick. You know what I mean? Let me fire my Bible up. Let me check my time. So, uh, uh, Daniel's 9. Shit, dark as hell. Uh, 13, as is written in the law of Moses, all the evil has come upon us. It's uh, Numbers 1323. I read that again when you read that. Great evil for under the whole heaven has not been done as has been done upon 
Right, so the Lord, going he going to bring a great evil upon Israel right here in America and, and across the rest of the world. You ain't, if you ain't fucking right, if you ain't escaping the wrath of the Most High. Go ahead. And it's written in all Moses, all the people that's been punished, yet may, yet may be not our prayer before you hour our God. Right, because we be praying before the Lord all the time. Go ahead. That we might turn our from our iniquity and understand that truth. Yeah, because we, we want to understand the truth. So we be... be that's how we got the truth, because we was calling out to the Most High. He answered our prayer. And that's why we out here teaching the word so other people that's out here searching for the truth, they can find it. Because the Lord, he made it that there be a, like this, what does it say in Romans? How can it be a, uh, how, how can they hear the word if there's no preacher? You know what I'm saying? Because people, you hear people ask that all the time. Wow. What, what if they didn't know about the Bible? Did, are they still going to be saved? There's no excuse. Everybody's going to know about it. That's why we out here. You know what I'm saying? That's why the end they came in. Go ahead. Therefore, have your hour and watch the pun that evil and brought it upon us. For your hour, our God, is righteous in all his works. What's he doing? So he obeyed the voice of the Lord. Yeah. So our people, they don't obey the voice of the Lord. And that's good, though, because they can talk all the shit they want. They could come up against us. You know, they don't have to believe. We don't care if you believe anything we say. Do what you want. You know what I mean? To do what thou will. <laughs> That's the guy. Do what thou will. You know what I mean? Because the funniest part of the whole deal is that you ain't going to escape. There's no escape. You you think you scot free, but nope. The Most High gonna be like, got him. He's gonna get your ass. And none of you bitches can escape the sting of death. Hey, except for us, we escaped that, actually. Hey, what was that scripture in the, uh, when Paul said, uh, death has lost its sting? I'm about to get that. There you go. Or go to Corinthians when he's talking about how we, uh, go from, uh, from one body to the other. All right. I mean, we can go all over. Well, we're going to go all we're over. We're going to get it. Because <laughs> really, yeah, because we got this is eternal life right here. Oh yeah, and they, all everybody except for Joshua and Caleb gave an evil report. Go ahead. And they came unto the brook of Ashcol, Ashcol, and cut down from thence a branch with one cluster of grapes. It said a branch with one, <laughs> one cluster of grapes. Yeah, it's like the, I mean, he's teaching like what? Uh, I feel like I was teaching like Jim Brown right there. That's how he was doing. It. <laughs> he's teaching like sisters. <laughs> oh, it's like Sesame Street? Well, oh, fuck. So I can't be a child molester, bro. <laughs> I can't go that route. Well, I got to talk to these motherfuckers <laughs> like they're children. You know? Well, that's how, that's how the child molester does to it. He come well, exactly. up to you. Stop. Yeah, I'll stop. I hide children. You took this. You want to stick your hand in my puppet? <laughs> yeah, that's his song. God that's damn it, song. man. <laughs> Elmo's a fucking child molester. He's still on TV. <laughs> what the fuck? We see why he's on TV. They settled out of court. Millions of dollars. Sweater. Hey, they, 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 when you hear about stuff like that, Pizzagate, it becomes very believable, don't it? That Pizzagate is 100% fact. We, we've been known Pizzagate was true. We've been known that. We didn't know about how they... Now we know how they order them. They go get a pizza. They get a child in return. That's like that movie Loverboard. Get extra anchovies. Remember that movie Loverboard? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this loud shit? Oh, oh. Girl, she, she, she's a float. 
shit was floating like a gazelle, bro. Look at this shit. Look at the cash, man. Look at nice. You see, her stride was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, she trying. She was striding. That's that how you supposed Because a lot of people don't know how to run right anyway. You yeah. do got to find that stride. Look like they run and it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> like, all heavy footed and shit. Or they got to, you know, motherfuckers be eating them out be running it. They got to think about their balance. Yeah, you got you, you to run with some form and shit and run properly. Look like a gazelle. Yeah, she looked like a gazelle. You know how them, yeah, like, you can hear that music, like, Little pan on his flute, like doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. the little demon elf bitch start galloping through. This crazy ass. Man. Now you ain't sneaking by us. You trying to sneak up on us, bro? No, go ahead, man. You better chill out and show you, man. Who was it? You can see it. You can see it. You <laughs> cut down from this a branch with one plus the brakes. If they bear between two of the and sand, if they walk for the for the pomegranate grounds yeah, the and the figs. Yeah, so that's a the scriptures tell you it took two people to carry to carry one plus of brakes. Ah. We've got these hold of us, man. Go back. The most annoying fucking thing on the road. Oh man. That's fucking we haven't even breathed in a couple of food. Get your raggedy ass out of here. That's your stick though, man. That's got metal. That's some heavy metal. It's really fucking because I'm sick. Oh man, that was brutal right there. Fuck. You just went on smoke, didn't you? Nah. That time you did. That shit was going right in me. I felt like I was breathing gas. That's why you need that cilantro. Cilantro. Man, once you're sick, it's too late. Yeah. You, you gotta I, I get sick every once a year like clockwork. <laughs> Being around all these fucking heathens. I get sick. I get sick. I shit be sick. I mean, yeah. Hey, I kind of like it though. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying my sickness. Yeah, if you sick, it's pushing all the way. It's pushing everything out that you don't need. Right. So sometimes you don't. I mean, you don't want to be sick, but if you are sick, it's, it's actually helping. I'm starting to like it. Yeah. Shit looking all weird and funny. You know what I mean? Pushing my veins out. You start getting a little mild hallucinations. It starts to become enjoyable after a while. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't fucking breathe, that's all. <laughs> you just can't fucking breathe. And you can't wait you get dizzy as fuck. Well. Uh, just think about the spirit world. Yeah, man, shit could be way worse. That's all I know. Mean. Everything could be worse. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, I be praising the Lord that, you know, that, that this is all he did to me was this. Shit. Because we done sin, committed all kind of sins under death. Satan just can't kill us. Yep. Oh, NIV. Don't read that. That's copyrighted. <laughs> you know the NIV is copyrighted, right? You're not allowed to use it unless you get written permission. Yeah, that's just garbage. You don't want. Oh yeah, because check this out. There's the reason why the NIV is bullshit. The main reason is because there's a satanic agenda behind it. But a lot of people don't know that there's a lot of Bibles in existence, right? But all these Bibles, they, they come from either one or two sources. The King James Bible, the reason we use the King James Bible isn't because the King James is the greatest Bible on earth. It's pretty good though, but that's English. It's because the King James Bible comes from the Byzantium text. It comes from the text, the Greek text that was in Constantinople. And the text they use. That's why we use the King James Bible. The, the, it, it's something they call the Textus Receptus. The King James New Testament comes from the Greek text called the Textus Receptus or the Byzantine text, which is from Constantinople. All right. Which Constantinople was uh, the so-called Christian capital of, you know, 
for, for like a thousand years, right? Until Amalek and the Turks came through and uh, conquered it in the 1400s, right? Before, during the, that's the, yes, the, 